So welcome to this welcome flow sequence tutorial. I'm going to go through the entire strategy that we use for our welcome series. I'm also going to go through the technical aspects and I'm also going to provide you with some design examples that you can steal to maximize your results. So without further ado, let's start immediately. So welcome to this video. As I said, I'm going to go through the entire welcome flow strategy. You can use the ready to steal welcome flow strategy. Clavio tutorial, obviously. And this is probably you trying to figure out how to set up the welcome flow, what to do, what to expect, yada, yada, yada. So that's why in this video, as I said, I'm gonna break down the entire strategy, what we use. We're gonna go through the technical execution. And this is probably me and you watching this video. And I'm gonna basically whisper into your ear. I'll show you the entire welcome flow breakdown. I'm gonna go through the strategy and I'm also gonna go through some e design examples. So without further ado, let's start with the technical execution. So first things first, you have to open up Clavio. And what you have to pay attention to is the pop-up form and the welcome flow. These two are synced because you actually want to have a trigger for you know the welcome flow to be sent to. And this is usually you know how to actually you're connecting your email subscribers. And the best form to do that is the pop-up form. So we can go through our agency account that we have when it comes to our welcome. And we right now have multiple things here on how to collect some emails. And one of them is the pop-up form right now. So the pop-up form we have on the website is this. Basically, want to get our retention flywheel system that you can steal for your brand. First name, email, phone number, give you this system. We'll send you a link to your inbox. So as you can see here, this is the button, the confirmation button. So what you want to do is you want to create this pop-up form within Clavio. We can just click on here, sign up forms. And then basically, let me quickly show that to you. You click on sign up forms and then you click on create sign up form. And then you can, you know, create a new sign up form. And here you can see test and then you can basically select a list. So you need to create a list first, then go here, create a sign up form. So let's say in that case, it would be test. And then we can basically go on to the next stage, design it, but that's a total different video. So if you want to see how to design the perfect pop-up form, feel free to let me know in the comments. But basically this is, you know, the pop-up form that could be, and here you can see if someone clicks it, you actually submit to a list. So that's that. So you need to set up the list, set up the pop-up form, linking to the list. And now we need to set up the flow itself. So you click on flows. And then what you want to do is you want to create a flow. And then you basically just collect create from scratch. You can tag, basically name it whatever you want to test, click on create flow. And then what you want to do is you want to trigger if someone subscribes to a dedicated list. In that case, we had one list, which was test. So when someone subscribed to test, they get this, click on done, and then you just, you know, select your email and that's basically it. And then you can design this email to whatever, you know, you want to. What you also want to do is you want to create a flow filter that basically says what someone has done, placed order zero times since starting this flow. So you don't want to you know, get anyone who purchases during that or basically purchases uh, prior to that. So sometimes that happens if you know you have that link with Shopify. So that's the technical setup. You have the pop-up form, you have the list, you also have the flow set up. So now let's take a look at, okay, what kind of emails do we actually want to send out? Because that's very, very important as well, right? So let's jump into the strategy. So usually you can, you know, basically do and create as many emails as you want to, but usually we stick to like three to four. And the reason for that is if you have like a super long email of welcome flow, they will get the welcome flow. And if you're also simultaneously sending campaigns, they will get the campaigns and the welcome flow. And that's usually not that necessary. So what we want to do is we basically want to like three to four is usually a good start. Um, and that's pretty much it. And for the first welcome email, the main goal here, because that's something that, you know, a lot of brands do not pay attention to. The main goal here is to give the discount code immediately. Do not force them to scroll. Do not force them to read a bunch. Do not try to come up with unique angles. Short benefits, welcome message, that's it. And you want to basically follow a framework that I will cover in this video, too, so stick till the end. But basically, it's the main purpose here is people sign up to the discount code. They do not want to read anything. They just see 15% off whatever offer you have on the pop-up form and they want that. So give it to them. Do not force them to scroll down and give them another option to, you know, basically not buy. You want to have it as smooth as possible. And one of those things to make it as smooth as possible is just give it immediately. 
So that's the first email. And then the other three to whatever, how many emails you want to send to, you can have as many multiple angles as you want to. Um, usually, you know, 80 or if not 90% of the welcome flow revenue will literally be first email. That's it. They wanted the code, they get it, they buy, boom, done. But for the rest of it, you can basically alternate between a few things you can do social proof, you can remind them of the discount, you can add some urgency for the discount, you can go through the unique selling points, you can go through your best sellers, break them down, main benefits of those. You can maybe do a founder intro if, if you have such a personal brand in and of itself. And then you can also you know, craft a message from the founder or you, know, you can work with plain text emails. I covered plain text emails a few times on this channel and you can basically use that within the welcome flow sequence. But do not over complicate those follow-up emails. As I said, the main one is this one. And this one is actually very important because we see, for example, if we take over some brands from other agencies, we can see the shift in our framework and whatever, you know, the other people use. Uh, because you can literally, you know, you just A-B test, set up an A-B test, and you can see the difference. You can see the difference in subject line, preview tags, open um, open rates, and also click-through rates, and also place all place order rates, just based on how you portray things and how easy you make it for your potential customer. So that's the strategy. Now let's take a look at the design in and of itself. And this is what I refer to as kind of the framework. So what you want to stick to is basically trying to, as I said, give the discount code immediately. And that's what we do within the hero image. So the hero image is basically the first part of the email and you want to have everything above the fold. That's what we call basically if you check your emails on the phone, everything that you do not have to scroll down to read is above the fold and everything below is below the fold. That makes sense, right? So you want to have the call to action, the discount code and the welcome message, everything above the fold. So people do not have to scroll down to find the discount code. So here you can see those examples. So here you can see welcome to Aegis, your journey to unstoppable confidence begins with 10% off code, shop with 10%. So they see everything, they see the code, they click on it. They, it's, it's actually auto applied. The discount is auto applied. You can do that with aegisinc.com slash discount slash and then whatever the discount is. So in that case, it would be sweat free 10. And as you can see here, we're also using that in our marketing messages, but this is kind of how you actually auto apply some, some discount. So maybe you learn something new here, but that's how to make it as easy as possible for the potential customer. So that's the first one. Here you can see indulge in our deliciously healthy creations with 10% off code and then the discount code, use your 10% off now. And then we have some, some, some further you know, messaging. And here, another example, welcome to ID gaming, use code welcome five. As you can see here, this is a sample email that we did across our categories and that's, that's basically a sample. But you can see the framework is pretty much the same here. We want to use the welcome message. We want to use the discount code here. We want to use the call to action above the fold. And then you know you can work with some graphics to make it visually appealing. But that's basically the entire premise of this video and the entire welcome flow. So we covered the technical execution. We also covered the strategy. We also covered the design. So if you have any other questions up until now, then feel free to comment below this video if you want us to create your welcome sequence. I hope this welcome flow breakdown was of value to you. If you want us to handle all of that, feel free to schedule your call with me. There's a link in the description that you can click on, get to my scheduler. We have a super casual conversation. And by the end, you will leave with a 30 to 45 minute audit that you can then implement yourself. Other than that, make sure to check out the YouTube channel. I have resources, tutorials, and all the strategy breakdowns that you need to know when it comes to all things email marketing related. Thank you so much for listening and I see you in the next video.